Have you ever gotten up and quit your job in the middle of a work shift? If so, why? Day 2. Owner tells me that he pays taxes for us so he pays cash and it is after taxes. So 7.5 and not the 10 hours we agreed to. I walked out and called the IRS hotline to report fraud. Dishwasher, had worked there two weeks. The AC for kitchen and office both broke the day before I started. Office AC was fixed the following day, kitchen AC wasn't priority. It was a heat wave in August, hitting 115 degrees outside. The whole kitchen staff walked out. I was 17 and just finished mopping the floor at closing time and was walking out the door. The owner's son walked across the floor in boots covered in motor oil and told me to mop this shit up I dropped the mop on the floor and told him to do it himself. I was being paid minimum wage and wasn't going to deal with that shit. Temp agency sent me for assignment to a small factory making furniture. 7 a.m. start time. At 7.03 or 04, while still waiting for some sort of foreman supervisor to come over say hello, here's what we do here, couple of dudes start shouting at each other it breaks out into full-blown fisticuffs. Yeah, I'd seen enough. Funny how I have a completely crystal clear memory of looking at the clock in my car as I drove away. 7.12 a.m. Yeah me and the entire waiting staff walked out. The new owner of the restaurant I worked for wanted to charge the staff for breakages. I worked at a car wash during the winter in the wet tunnel. Manager got in my face for wearing a coat that didn't have the company logo on it, but they didn't make uniform coats. Told him to eat my entire ass and choke on it, and then left. It gets below zero here regularly, I'm not risking my life or even my comfort for $12 an hour. Dell Computer Sales 1998. They fired 90 of all the commission-making salespeople and replaced them with hourly workers from a temp agency. They then asked me to train them. I was like, maybe you should have trained them before firing everyone why would I train them so you can fire me in two weeks. I then grabbed my shit and noped out of there. Had a part-time job for about 40 minutes in college. Started as a day-to-entry job paid 7.25. The owner found out I was going to school for an IT-related field and starting throwing tasks like updating his website and basic tech support. I left almost immediately. I got a job at a new grooming salon in a Petco. It was a commission-based job, and they still had a sign out front saying grooming salon coming soon. So after a week of making no money, I came into work and the manager said, you can't wear jeans here. Okay, I replied, then turned around and walked out never to be seen again. He called a week later asking me to come back. I laughed and hung up. Oh yeah. I worked at a call center answering service on the 7 a.m. 3 p.m. shift and was in school part-time taking evening classes. They changed my schedule to be the evening shift 3.11 p.m. with only two days notice and told me if I wanted to keep working there I'd have to find a way to make it work with my school schedule. So I went to my desk, packed up my things, put my phone on hold and went home. Was server. Working for tips only. Had one table in one week. Made two bucks. Probably nobody ever realized I was gone. My husband. He was summoned for an emergency behavior meeting. Started with even though your numbers are top in the company you get up from your desk for water too many times a day. He said I'm going to stop you right there, we can make this quick, I'm out. And immediately left. Worked in logistics. I was at the height of my alcoholism, working in a pizza shop. I was making pizzas and trying to hold it together while in active withdrawal. Got my paycheck via direct deposit and decided I would move on to bigger and better things that day. Bigger and better things being a big bottle of gas station vodka and some one dollar lemonade for a mixer. Don't recommend working in a hot environment as an alcoholic in active withdrawal. McDonald's. Our manager Mark was a dick. He chucked the bag of McFlurry toppings at me during another one of his tantrums and told me to fill it. I threw it back at his head then threw my hat at him, then my MCDS polo, then walked out half-naked. 
Would have thrown my pants and shoes too but I paid for them. Fuck you Mark. I walked into work, unlocked my toolbox, took deep breath, locked my toolbox and drove home. My boss had the very good idea of firing me when I arrived in the morning, but she still wanted me to do my work day I escaped through an emergency exit. I was a convenience, convenience store, store cashier. We got a new manager and just after I counted my draw she introduced herself and told me you've heard the term, all shit runs downhill? Well, that's what it's like to work for me I said okay, well I don't work for you, bye. Was working as a telemarketer 20 years ago. Guy a few cubicles away from me got in trouble for going off script, flipped out, threw his large computer monitor on the ground and said he was coming back tomorrow to kill all of us. I took my time eating my sandwich at lunch that day, came back, and decided that I had spread enough misery for one summer. Told my manager and left. I worked a door, we barred all the local drug dealers, they came back multiple times over the next few weeks trying to attack us. Came to work one day and they was all allowed back in the pub, the landlord missed the money they put behind the bar. I left, wasn't worth the risk. I just walked off the door and left them to it. Over two decades ago, I walked out on target. They kept scheduling me outside of my availability, no matter how often I brought it to their attention. The last time they did so, I reminded them that my availability had zero wiggle room. They told me to figure it out. So I did. Other than that aspect of things being mismanaged, I liked working there well enough. I had nice peers and all.